Hello everyone, I am Assistant Professor Sriyash Shinde, PCSOE, welcoming you to the next lecture of the Engineering Curve. And today we are going to uh, draw parabola. Uh, so we will directly go through the uh, problem statement here. Draw the parabola if the base of rectangle is 150 mm and height of rectangle is 100 mm. So in the previous lecture we draw ellipse with rectangle method and here as you can see the base and height of rectangle is given. So again you are supposed to draw this parabola with rectangle method. So this method is rectangle method and this is also called as oblong oblong method. Remember this thing. So in the examination it may not be explained that which method is this but uh, by reading problem statement you must understand the method. So this is the rectangle method. So again uh, I have drawn the basic construction here. The length of rectangle and the breadth of rectangle and 150 mm. Once you will draw the rectangle, uh, divide this rectangle vertically into two equal parts. So for that divide this length or uh, exactly find the midpoint of a line and divide this rectangle vertically into two equal parts. So next procedure now, uh, first give naming to the rectangle. So I will be naming here A, B, C, D. I will be also naming this line. I will be naming this as V, O. Now, Again, uh, we will be only focusing on one part of rectangle. So, we will be focusing on this rectangle. So, in this rectangle, that is AOVD, divide this AO and AD into equal number of parts. So, here I am going to divide this both the lines, this both the lines into five equal parts. So, how to divide that? We have also discussed in the previous lecture. So, uh, 75 divided by 5, you can directly divide uh, this line into five parts of 15 mm each. So the next point to one, uh, A will be one, two, three, four, and O will be the fifth one. Similarly, divide AD, 100 mm. So uh, five parts of 20 mm you can directly divide. So I'll be uh, directly taking here, approximate distances. And uh, this will be the dividation of line. Now again, uh, join all these vertical points to this point V. So join one V. 2v so v is the point through which par parabola or locus of parabola is going to pass so v is the point on the locus of parabola so we'll be joining the last point 4 with v so now the next procedure is you're supposed to draw the lines through these horizontal points but you have to draw vertical lines so with the help of your drafter or ruler you can be able to draw the vertical lines uh, as I am not having instruments, I am approximately drawing this line. So a vertical line through 1 which will cut the line 1V and where it will cut line V, we will get the point P1. Similarly a vertical line through 2 which will cut line 2V, you will get point P2. Vertical line through 3 which will cut 3V, you will get point P3 and the last vertical line through 4 which will cut 4v similarly the line vertical line which will cut 2v will name it as p2 similarly 3 p3 and this is called p4 so you got all the points in this part of rectangle so your parabola will start from a p1 p2 p3 p4 and v so you have to draw a smooth curve passing through all these points so as you can see, I have drawn a smooth curve starting from point A till the point V. So this is the half section of parabola. So in the remaining part, you are supposed to complete this section. So again, no need to go for similar kind of construction as we have uh, done the smart work in the ellipse, similar kind of work you are supposed to do here. So from this line VO, you are supposed to take the distances that is from this line. We will take the distance of point P4 and we will transfer this distance on the right side. So here we will get point P4. Similarly, we will take this distance of point P3 from this line on this horizontal line and I will join this point. So I already drawn this horizontal line through these all points and I am just transferring that distance from left side to the right side. So if you are having under, uh, confusion like uh, if we will directly transfer the point whether we will get full marks or not, don't worry about that. It is just about getting the points right. So whichever method you will follow, uh, there will not be issue as far as uh, the points are at correct position. 
Uh, so again, we'll name these points. So this will be point P4, point P3, point P2, point P1. So again, passing through all these points, starting from V to B, you're supposed to draw the smooth curve. So as you can see, I have drawn a smooth curve passing through all these points. So I got a parabola uh, that is passing through point V and this is the smooth curve. Again, you have to draw all the construction with 2H pencil and only this locus of curve you are supposed to draw it dark with HB pencil. The dimensions given in the problem are given here as a part of dimensioning. Once so you will do that, you will get the complete mark for the problem. So this is the parabola by rectangle method. Now one of the doubt that comes to your mind sir, uh, why to divide this uh, AO into 5 equal parts or how to divide this whether to divide into 5 equal parts or 4 equal parts. So depending upon uh, your skill, suppose if you are able to draw the smooth curve, uh, you can divide this AO and AD into 4 equal parts also and uh, maximum you can go up to 6 points. So if you divide more than that, it will consume a lot of time. So 4 to 5 parts depending upon how much smooth curve you are able to draw those through those points you have to decide whether you want to divide this AO and AD into 4 equal parts or 5 equal parts that is ok again if we we'll talk about this parabola there are a number of applications of parabola uh, like uh, the arch of a bridge so these are in parabolic shape then there are parabolic reflector dish uh, which reflect the rays to a certain point then again we have trajectory of a body under influence of a gravity so, uh, suppose a man is standing here and he is going to throw a ball to a certain height and which is going to cover a certain distance. So, this path followed by the ball, we can say that this path is again parabolic path. So, problem statement will also come in this form is like a man is throwing a ball which is having maximum height of some value and the distance travelled by the ball is some. So, by using this dimension that is maximum height as a breadth of a rectangle and uh, this distance travelled as a height of a rectangle, you will be constructing this rectangle and by constructing this rectangle, you will be able to draw the parabola by rectangle method. I hope you understood this problem clearly. Uh, we will quickly revise this. Draw the rectangle of given dimension that is length and breadth. Divide this rectangle vertically into two equal parts. Then divide this AO and AD into equal number of parts here, 5 parts, 5 parts. Draw all these vertical points to V. Then draw the vertical lines so as to cut the respective point. That is one vertical line of 1 should cut the 1 V, you will get P1. Vertical line through 2 should cut 2 V, you will get P2. Similarly, you will get the points. Once you will get the points in one section, transfer it horizontally to the other section and you will get the smooth curve through all these points. That is the parabola. Thank you.